Welcome back to Arcade, I am Super Tommy. It is 2022 and the new year is a great time to learn something new. In this video, we're gonna look at the best new way to start a Phaser 3, Kaboom JS, or even 3JS project in the new year. Now, the way you've been starting projects in 2021 probably works just fine, but the new year is a great time to keep abreast of the three T's. That's technologies, trends, and tooling. Okay, that's not that's that's not a real thing. I just made it up. They are three words that all start with the letter T, but no one calls them the three T's. That aside, why should you at least be aware of new tech trends or tooling? For one thing, you can save yourself from sounding like this guy. I've been writing and developing in JavaScript for over 10 years. This setup in part one of this guide was just terrible. And the term modern JavaScript is unheard of. I developed for a regular Apache web server. We don't mess with NPM or ports, e.g. colon 3000. We just simply navigate to example.com slash my game. Your web server would have a folder called my game and in there would be your index.html and other files such as star.js. It is always okay to be wrong and to not know something as long as you then take the time to learn. There is a lot out there to know and ain't nobody got time to know everything. So be humble, be kind, and maybe give a little room to the chance that you might not know everything. Modern JavaScript is in fact a thing. You can Google it and see that it generally refers to the ES6 or newer versions of JavaScript that includes language features like module import export, const for let for variables, a simple class syntax, and more. You can compare this to the source code for Phaser 3, which is written in older JavaScript with require instead of import, var instead of let or const, and a utility function for creating classes. Keeping your head in the sand as technology changes makes it much harder to find tutorials and help that make sense. You'll also run into problems that modern people no longer do because the new tools were designed to eliminate those issues. And speaking of new tools, let's look at VJS. It has been gaining a lot of traction and popularity in the last year, and I like it for how easy it is to use in much the same way that Parcel is. There is basically zero configuration to get started, and you can make adjustments as necessary. The most important thing is the blazing fast development environment. Make a change and you'll see it reflected almost instantly. This is made possible by serving individually changed modules instead of rebundling all the code. When it comes time to build for production, V leverages Rollup to create an optimized production bundle that you can serve from a web server. Unbundled code has advantages in development and bundled code has advantages in production for optimal loading performance. V can be used for basically anything from React to Vue to Smelt or even Phaser, Kaboom, and 3JS. You can even take your pick of JavaScript or TypeScript. To start with Phaser, Kaboom, or 3JS, we can create a project from the vanilla JS or vanilla TS templates. In your terminal, type npm init beat at latest. I'm gonna call it my Phaser game. This is the name of the project we're gonna make. And then we're gonna give it a template and depending on which version of NPM you have, you may have to do dash 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 or just dash dash template. Then I give you some instructions here to CD into the directory. So CD my phaser game and then to do NPM install. And then after this is done, you can just do NPM run dev. You can go to the browser and go to localhost 3000 and see that everything is working with the basic template file. Next, let's add phaser with npm install phaser. If you go to the main.ts file, we can just remove the code here and replace it with a basic phaser starting code. We're using this hello world scene, so let's create that in a scenes folder. Hello world scene.ts. And we're just gonna take our code and paste it in here. Now let's try to npm run dev again and see if phaser is running. And boom, it is. Easy peasy. The next thing is assets. What's a game without graphics? With Parcel, we needed to add a plugin to copy static assets from a public folder into the root of the web server. With V, we don't need to add any plugins. It has automatic support for a public folder. We just need to create one at the root of the project. So let's do that. Everything in the public folder will be served from the root of the web server. So let's add an assets folder so that we can better organize the files. We'll just put this arcade logo into the folder. Now let's load the image from our hello world scene 
and then display it in the middle of the scene here. And that's it, it just worked, nothing to install or anything. For 3JS, the steps are basically the same. First, let's create a new project. npm init v at latest my dash three dash game. We're leaving out dash dash template and using the wizard instead. You can choose vanilla for vanilla JS. Next, cd into the folder and run npm install. Then to install 3JS, run npm install 3. Next, let's just drop in this 3JS example code and head back to the terminal and run it with npm run dev. And that's it, a 3JS project is ready to go. For Kaboom.js, it's the same, watch. npm init v at latest my kaboom game dash 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 template vanilla. Now again, if you're using npm 6 or earlier, you don't need the first dash dash, you'll just do dash dash template vanilla. Now let's cd into my kaboom game, do npm install, and then to install kaboom, we'll do npm install kaboom. Let's drop in this basic setup code to create a red square in kaboom.js. Now let's run in the terminal npm run dev. And there it is. Is Vite not the easiest thing to use or what? If you're gonna start a new phaser project this year or Kaboom.js or 3JS project, why not give Vite.js a try? I think you'll like it. And maybe give TypeScript a try since it comes supported out of the box with Vite.js. We have a free ebook to help you get started with TypeScript and Phaser 3. You can find it at blog.arcade.co. Now, if video is more your thing, check out this series on getting started with Phaser 3 and TypeScript.